When I was six, I wanted to be Pippi Longstocking, the strongest, silliest, most carefree, most underestimated girl in the world. The heroes of comics, books, and film, characters like D'Artagnan from The Three Musketeers, the fourth doctor from Doctor Who, Hawkeye from MASH, and X-Men's Professor Xavier, all helped me see who I could hope to become. I also fell in love with the real-life heroes of 20th century science and engineering, the more than 400,000 audacious men and women that put a person on the moon, Alan Turing and the codebreakers at Bletchley Park who helped win the Second World War and laid the foundations for modern computer science, the Manhattan Project, which my grandfather was a part of, which gave rise not just to the atomic bomb, but also to the first electronic general-purpose computer. All of these people imagined things that didn't seem possible and made it happen. They helped me to realize the world is full to overflowing with latent superheroes. Superheroes are everywhere, not some rare species. That includes you, class of 2020. Now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. I look at everyone I meet and I see a bonfire of possibility inside of them. I know most of them can't yet see in themselves. We go through our days with the most powerful parts of what we can do and what we can imagine tucked away or unconsciously suppressed, waiting for the right challenge and the right moment to let the magic out and move mountains. Now is that moment. This rapidly changing world calls on all of us to find and let out our superpowers. All of our passion, all of our talents, not the workaday versions of ourselves. That part of you you can feel is in there, even if it scares you to imagine letting it out into the light. 2020 has thrown us all into a situation which there are no easy or obvious answers. The fear and the discomfort can be intense, and it's easier to see disrupted dreams in front of us than it is to see opportunities. But believing the pause button has been hit on your future will only make it true. This is not a global game of musical chairs this graduating class just lost. Counterintuitively, the especially disrupted time we've just entered, crossed with your being early in your careers, have created just the right set of conditions for your superpowers to be unleashed and help us all get through the next few years and beyond. In the past, it was often the presence or prospect of a war that generated the conditions for breakthrough innovation. That's both tragic and absurd. That's why I've spent my life and career obsessed with finding the cultural conditions that can be an impetus for radical creativity without the destruction of international conflict. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to create an invention machine. Not an actual physical machine, but a place where groups of passionate, talented people can throw themselves unleashed and unfiltered at the problems they care about most and emerge with radical solutions that are 10 times better than anything that's been possible before. I've always imagined such a place as the love child of 1960s NASA and Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I've been trying various iterations of this since I was in my 20s, and I'm now 10 years into building a Moonshot Factory, a place where we bring the audacity and optimism embodied by the space race to inventing and launching technologies that could help solve the world's most pressing problems. Problems like food scarcity, internet connectivity, and clean energy. Born Google X, now just X, we've created things like self-driving cars, delivery drones, and verily, the healthcare arm of Alphabet. What bothers me is that X shouldn't be the only moonshot factory. We need more. Many more, 
not just big formal moonshot factories. We need millions more people waking up every day more creative, more brave, more urgent to find 10x solutions to the world's biggest problems. I know there's lots of intelligence, desire, and resources being invested already. No one gets up Monday morning saying, this week I'm going to make incremental progress. And yet, that is almost exclusively what happens, and it doesn't need to be that way. We are all superheroes. The ability and aspiration is there, even if it's buried deep in some of us. What's holding us back as individuals and organizations is the strong gravitational pull towards conventional ways of thinking and behaving. Most of us have been conditioned by the environment around us not to fail, not to take risks, not to make anyone uncomfortable, especially if that person is your boss. So most of us end up being too cautious, too afraid to rock the status quo or mess something up. And the irony is it works the other way around. The most powerful and painful epiphany of my life was to stop hiding my inner weirdo. You don't get joy, power, money, a sense of purpose, whatever you crave, by protecting yourself. You get those things and you protect yourself best by unleashing yourself. Everyone thinks it's someone else's job to come up with the weird new ideas and take the big risks. Big companies think radical thinking is for startups. Startups say it's the big guys who have all the resources. Universities do great research, but aren't set up to build real-world solutions. Governments get mired in short-term problems. And there you have it. Suddenly, it's no one's job, even when it should be everyone's job, to help solve the problems of our time. You, as the class of 2020, have a huge opportunity. You can decide right now that it's going to be your job to use your superpowers to help solve the problems you care about. Whether that's something to help us adapt to our new reality or one of the many other issues humanity is facing. And I promise you, if you throw yourself into the deep end with passion, you will get more of the very things you worry you'll be risking. The problem I've made my cause is pretty meta to create environments where other people can unleash their full selves on the problems they care about. After more than 20 years encouraging this at X and other places, I can tell you these people end up winning at life in all sorts of ways that really matter. And it's been extremely fulfilling to watch. There's probably a little voice in your head saying, yeah, I might have a superpower in here somewhere, but what holds back humanity's potential is that but. The human tendency to slide toward the conventional, the way things are supposed to be done. But you, class of 2020, don't yet know what's conventional. Society hasn't quite finished programming you on what you're supposed to do. What society has been teaching you you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to think and behave, has its uses. But when it comes to solving hard problems, it is also a mental straitjacket. Naivete and inexperience is freedom. Freedom from mental ruts and emotional attachments. Freedom from crusty habits that keep you stuck in the status quo instead of flying towards future possibilities. Think about the people who started building self-driving cars. They weren't car experts. Most experts would ask, what safety features can we add to cars because human drivers can be idiots? That's the conventional question, and the answers do save lives. But various academic groups in the 1990s used their non-expertness, you might even say their naivete, as their superpower. They came from a different perspective. What if the car just drove itself? And now, self-driving cars are well on their way to becoming a reality. I'm 49. I've had to create a special brand for myself as a useful crazy person because I'm supposed to know better, and so I need air cover for saying things that aren't normal. Your ideas are unfettered. Your perspectives are fresh. 
And your being young gives you air cover for throwing out crazy ideas. So go for it. Let them rip. You have another big advantage. You don't already know the answers. And unlike the experts, you know you don't know the answers. There are still lots of jobs in which experience saves a ton of time and hassle. But when the answers to current problems are far over the horizon and all the rules have suddenly changed, like we've just seen, the experts' belief they know the solution and just have to implement it is why they will fail. Experimenting, iterating, and learning is the only way forward, and doing that is a lot easier with your advantage. You can admit ahead of time you don't have the solution up front. For extremely complex problems like the world is facing today, there are no answers. There is no playbook. That's why some of the most exciting innovations come from newcomers or from people who combine inspiration from many disparate fields. You see this in music, fashion, and food all the time. At X, we have puppeteers who became roboticists, and we mix machine learning with marine biology. When you move to a new field, you become a novice again, which means the expectations of you are zero. So you can try a lot of new things and mess up without embarrassment. And you can transplant ideas across fields, which can spark faster or novel progress. The superpower isn't to pretend you're more experienced than you are, but to force yourself to be fresh again and again to get the benefits over and over that being fresh brings. Finally, I want to remind you that you're playing a long game. It can feel like you're already behind in life and the pandemic is going to slow you down even more. That doesn't have to be true. I believe that after the wreckage of all this sudden change, we'll see a period of intense innovation and openness to trying new things, unlike anything we've seen in decades. Having 40 or 50 years of your career in front of you is a massive advantage. People who are late in their careers need to harvest what they can with the time they have left. They tend to be more interested in lower return, sure things, rather than winding journeys that lead to unexpected discovery and adventure. They're the ones who, in the coming months, will be trying to claw society back towards an old normal that wasn't working that well anyway. You, however, have the time to explore interesting paths and let your learning moments and growth opportunities build on each other. You can head out purposefully to work on huge problems, thinking long-term about your work and its impact on the world, ready to take a winding journey that can't be predicted and is anything but normal. And I suspect you'll find that you'll end up having more fun, feeling less fear, doing more good for the world, and making more money. That's because you leaned into the best superpower you could have been given in this pivotal moment in history. Your ideas, your energy, your spirit is fresh. Different is what we need. Hold on to that. Amplify it. Lean into it. Celebrate your inner weirdo. Find your superpowers. The world needs you and that fresh perspective now in a way it hasn't for many generations.